Hello everyone, this is Dr. Meher Shah once again with another video. In this video, we are going to learn how to solve numerical problems in order to find the expected return and standard deviation under the chapter Portfolio Analysis and Selection under the subject Security and Portfolio Management also known as SAPM. Now, this is an important topic for all the TYBBI students of semester 6. Very important topic from the exam point of view. So, now let us see how to solve the sum based on expected return and standard deviation. Okay, the very first type of sum is based on risk and return analysis. And under that, we are going to solve sum based on calculation of expected return and standard deviation. Now, for finding expected return and standard deviation, there are two types of sum. Number one, when probability is not given and one where it is given. So we are going to solve first sum based on when probability is not given. The formula for expected return is R bar is equal to sigma R upon N and standard deviation ka formula is the root of sigma R minus R bar the whole square upon N. Now based on the two formula, let us see how to solve the sum. Okay. So the question given here is Mr. J gives detail of his portfolio. There are multiple years and they are giving you returns of A limited and B limited and they are asking you to calculate the expected return and standard deviation. So let us start finding the expected return and standard deviation for A limited. Okay. Now the columns will be years. So under years we will note down 2003, 2004, 2004, 2005, 2006, 2006, 2007 and last will be 2007 to 2008. Now under returns, let us just note down whatever returns have been given to us. So it's 6%, 48%, negative 15%, 7% and 11%. The total of that will be required. So when you add up and when you subtract the negative 15, you get the total as 57. So now very first thing what we need to find is expected return. Expected return is nothing but R bar, which is Sigma R upon N, where R ka value is the total of R was 57. Number of so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so we have 5. When you divide, we get a value as 11.40%. So our expected return is 11.40%. Okay. So we finish with the expected. Now in order to find standard deviation, our next column is R that resembles all your returns minus R bar that is the expected return. So it will be 6 minus 11.4, 48 minus 11.4, negative 15 minus 11.4 7 minus 11.4 11 minus 11.4 so the difference so we'll get the difference so 6 minus 11.4 is negative 5.4 following it with 36.6 negative 50 negative 11 will give you negative 26.4 7 minus 11 is negative 4.4 and 11 minus 11.4 uh, is negative 0 0.4 now the last column you need to find the square of the uh, value that you have found in R minus R bar. So the square of these numbers will be 29.16, and 0 0.16. The total of which will be approximately 2085.20. So we have got the value. Now let us see how to get your standard deviation. So standard deviation ka formula was it is the root of sigma r minus r bar the whole square upon n, which would come to you know the root of 2085.20 upon 5. So you divide and then when you press the square root sign, we'll get a final answer as 20.42. So we finished with the first part of A. So we got the expected return of 11.4% and the standard deviation of 20.42. 
so this was of part a now similarly we'll have to do for b limited so years may again we have 2003 2004 2004 2005 2005 2006 2006 2007 and 2007 2008 under return we'll note down as 12 40 negative 6 23 and the total of which will come approx to so we add up the value so we have 12 plus 40 plus 20 plus 3 minus 6 so which comes to 69 so we need to find the r bar that is expected return that is nothing but the total of r divided by n so in our case it will be 69 divided by 5 which comes to 13.8 Okay, this is how we found the value of expected return. Now let us find the value of standard deviation. So we need to find now R minus R bar for the standard deviation. So R, we have all the values of return and we have to subtract that with your R bar. So 12 minus 13.8 will give you negative 1.8. Next it will be 26.2 next negative 19.8 next 6.2 and 10.8 next we need to square them in order to get r minus r bar the whole square so it will be 3.24 686.44 and 116.64 once you get that, we total it up. So once after you get that, we total it up and we'll get the value as 1236.80. Lastly, we need to find the value of standard deviation. So standard deviation is nothing but the square root of total of r minus r bar the whole square upon n so it will be nothing but the square root of 1 2 3 6 point 8 0 upon 5 the value of which after dividing and pressing the square root you should get the answer as 15.73 percent yeah So with this we were able to solve some based on expected return and standard deviation when probability was not given. This was the very first type. Now we will be solving some in which we will be having the probability. So let us see how to solve some based on expected return and standard deviation when the probability is given. Okay now the second method for finding the expected return and standard deviation is that when probability is given two formulas expected return is equal to r cube is equal to sigma p into r and standard deviation is the root of summation p into r minus r bar the whole square now the question given here is the rate of return of a limited and b limited are given below there is probability which is given three conditions are given and two companies are given we need to find the expected return and the standard deviation so let us see now how to solve this particular sum first we are going to solve for a limited so we'll note down this as a limited particulars may we have been given three condition one is the boom period the other one is normal period and last one is the recession period now the probability which is given here is 0 0.3 0 0.4 and 0 0.3 the returns of a limited are 40 60 and 80 now we need to find p into r so we'll multiply probability into return and we get the values as 12 24 and 24 and we need to get the total of p into r which comes to 60 so here a first formula that is expected return r bar is equal to submission of p into r 
which comes to 60%. So that's our first answer. Now let us see how to find the value of standard deviation. So next column is R minus R bar. Now R minus R bar will be all the values of R subtract with R bar. So the difference we will get it as negative 20, 0 and positive 20. The square of that will go into our next column. So negative 20 the whole square is 400, 0, 400. And lastly whatever value we have got in R minus R bar the whole square we multiply that with the probability. So we get the value as 120, 0 and 120. And we need the total of the last column which is 240. So now finally we need to apply into the formula of standard deviation which is nothing but the summation of P into R minus R bar the whole square. So which comes up to you know that will be the root of 240 which comes to 15.49%. This is how we had to solve for A limited. Now similarly we will go for the next one that is B limited. Now again particulars may we have three conditions. So we have the boom condition. We have the normal condition. And we have the recession. Now the probability given here are again 0 0.3, 0 0.4 and 0 0.3. The returns are... 90, 60 and 40 so we will add up that so we get the answer as okay returns play actually we don't need to add up we will multiply first and then we will add up so 0 0.3 into 90 will be 27, 24 and 12 and now we will add up this total so P into R car total comes to 63 so our value the expected return is sigma P into R which comes to 63 percent next is r minus r bar so all the values of r minus is 63 we get the values as 27 negative 3 and we will get this as negative 23 the square of that so we have 729 9 and 529 whatever value we have got in r minus r bar the whole square we multiply that with the probability so we get the values as 218.7, 3.6 and 158.7 and we will total it. So the total will come approximately 381. Once I get the total, lastly we will put that into standard deviation ka formula. That is summation of P into R minus R bar the whole square. So that is the square root of 381 which comes approximately up to 19.52 percent so with that we were able to solve uh, some based on expected return and standard deviation when probability was given so with this we have completed the first topic under risk and return analysis based on expected return and standard deviation under two method one when probability is not given the other when probability is given so I hope everyone have understood this. Stay tuned for other videos. Thank you.